Welcome back for hour number two of the Sports Buzz on WNTI 91.9 FM. I was leaving. Live on the web at <laughs> WNTI.org. Talking sports and taking your calls at 908 852 4545. And welcome back to the second hour of this wonderful show I call Sports Buzz. I am your host, Jeff. I am joined in my studio with Mike, my co-host, Pop, my other co-host, and now the moment that we all wait for tintalizingly every week, the Centenary and Hackettstown Highlight with my man, Dan. You have Without a vote? further ado, Dan, take it away. Can you hear me, WNTI? Gotcha, loud and clear. Was that better this week? Was that I think the key is to stand back a little bit. All right, Dan, give me a joke now. Make me laugh. Go. A joke. Oh, um, I almost didn't write a script this week because I was too busy thinking about how awesome I was because last week I was the only one in the studio who said the Red Sox were winning six games. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm on a power trip right now. Wow, that was a bad joke. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you do your segment, and then after the segment's over, make me laugh, clown. <laughs> that was the joke. So you only mean Pop got it. <laughs> Pop laughs at a finger. <laughs> okay? He's a child. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, take it away, Dan. Let us know what's happening yeah. next time it's Saturday. I'm going to try and figure out that joke. Let's see if I can get it. We are try okay, well, we are approaching the end of the fall sports season, but the men's soccer and women's soccer are keeping it going for the most part because, you know, of course, winter sports could be starting up in a few weeks. So good thing we have... Soccer to keep track of for right now until we start winter sports next week, I think. Um, let's see, with men's soccer, they did not play a game this week, but there was a reason. They finished, of course, 11 5 and 2. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Dan. Big time shout out, happy birthday to my brother Ed, 22 years old, on the soccer Eddie team. Man. Just wanted to say that. Oh boy. You're an old man. Congratulations. <laughs> Carry on, Dan. Was right. he a sixth year senior? 23 years 22, old? 22, 22. No, I thought you said 23. No, no, you know, don't discourage that just because he's been here for a minute. I didn't know they redshirted him. <laughs> 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 Division three school. Uh, <laughs> so, of course, you know, like I said last week, the men's soccer team, they finished 11-5-2, a one conference play. That was good enough for second place in the CSAC, so they got a first round bye uh, in the quarterfinals of the CSAC tournament. They will play Thursday. Um, November 7th against Cabrini College at home at Hackettstown High School at 6 and I've been seeing the soccer players going nuts on Facebook and all the social media sites they really want a lot of centenary fans out there yeah the girls are doing great yeah. I heard the boy, yeah the girls did something great uh, last night but um, I'm going to get into that in a little bit I just want to give, give a brief shout out to the head coach of the men's cyclones Keith O'Connor he was named CSAC coach of the year what yeah, I mean, eight, one the men's soccer values. coach or the women? No, the men's soccer coach. What? Keith O'Connor, man. I like Kevin Davies a bit better. Oh, he come act, on, he acts in a really, really good. Year. Clap it up! <laughs> wow, look at that. Ascent coach winning coach of the year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was really happy how the men played this year. Um, I mean, they got, they got the first round by. They deserved it. So hopefully, you know, a win against Cabrini, and then I don't know who, who they're probably going to play. They're probably going to play Marywood uh, if they do make it to the finals. So I wish them all the best of luck Thursday night. I will probably be there, most likely. So I'm going to be cheering them on. I might get my body paint out. I might paint myself. But um, <laughs> heading on out. That funnier dude, than your Red Sox, Joe. I, um, I hope you spare us. Okay, I did, I did make Jeff laugh after all. But um, heading on to women's soccer. They played, uh, their final regular season game was Thursday, Halloween, against Baptist Bible. They won 8 to nothing. Uh, Laura Potter had a hat trick while Kara Holmes had two assists. They were the leading goal scorer and assist leader of the day. And they kicked off their tournament game in the CSAC uh, yesterday, Monday, against Marywood, they won one to nothing. I was there. It was a great, great game. Um, they won one to nothing. I mean, like I said before, Lorraine Dietrich with the lone goal off a rebound from a shot by Becky Kemp, and that was in the first half, and they kept it scoreless in the second half. So the Cyclones move on to the semifinal match where they will play Rosemont tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday, at six o'clock at Rosemont, and I'll actually be making the trip to go see them because I gotta cheer on my girls. They're doing a great job this whoa, year. Whoa. And, and um, I just want to give a brief shout-out to Nikki Crowley and Laura Potter. They made first team all CSAC. Congratulations. Those yeah. girls. Love it. So Love it when of, the athletes of centenary put on. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of credentials for we, the we soccer team. They put in team. a lot of hard work <coughs> all throughout the year. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Come on. This is a year-round thing. Now. Us finally <laughs> tuned. You know, first, you know. I'm pretty excited about these tournament games. <laughs> Oh, Mike said the best joke of the night. 
Well, that'll, we'll save that for another day because I was actually being 100% serious on that. Okay, but we'll save that uh, argument for another day. Uh, I'll let Dan finish this segment because I could go on. No, for the nobody wants to hear. So, um, yeah, so uh, next week I'm pretty sure I'll be starting to cover winter sports. So I think when, we, when it comes to basketball and wrestling, I'll be your guy for next week. But uh, for right now, that's the end of uh, the centenary sports. But we're going to head on over to Hackettstown football. Another, like, you know, every week it seems well, like uh, it's let me guess, the same, same thing. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, they play at Hanover Park. There was a home game Friday night, senior day. Uh, they lost 31-14. to uh, For the Tigers, Matt Malelli had a pick six. Uh, Joe Rennie, the quarterback, had a rushing touchdown. They were actually up like 14-8 to in the first uh, quarter. And like Hanover Park, I think they only lost like two games all year, or one game. But that was a pretty good you know, start in the first quarter, but then Hanover Park took over. It just seems to be the trend for the Tigers this year. But you know, the Tigers are 1-7. They can take the positive out of the one win. Um, but their next game is Friday, November 8th, a home game against 4-4 four four, Warren Hills at home. I probably might be going to that because I have family friends who... Uh, have their kids Dan, I mean, it seems like you go to every single you know, game. You're I'm a just popular guy. Dan, the traveling man. That's well, the the traveling man. well uh, the, uh, the Tigers, the Akatown Tigers sound like uh, the New York Giants to me. Shots fired, guys. Shots fired. Wow. I'm not even going to entertain this. But for more information on Centenary Sports, please check us out at centenarycyclones.com. And until next week, let's go Cyclones and let's go Tigers. Back to you, Jeff, Mike, and Bob. Before you get started, okay, I'm just going to leave you with this.